Hi everybody, welcome to this uh, uh, Roland Zenbeat tutorials. Let's continue where we left. So let's click on the open song and let's use the simulator demo song for the purpose of uh, this uh, uh, video. Let's click on the open button. Here we are on the timeline view. Let's uh, close this section to have a better visibility on the screen. So what I'm going to talk today is about the mixer section clicking on this icon here it is as you can see it you, where you can see all the tracks in the mixer you have a horizontal bar at the bottom which you use you can use to scroll to the other tracks as you can see as you scroll the master track is fixed here on the right hand side for each of the track we can select to see the main parameters click on that icon or the audio effect or the send uh, <clears throat> settings and you can use that for each individually for each of the track or if you go here on the master track you can apply the main parameters of the audio effects but if you stick on the for the master track of course but if you stick on the main parameters here underneath you can find also a quick shortcut to show all the main parameters for all the track all the audio effects for all the tracks and the same on the send setting and as you can see here, it's very useful because it gives you <clears throat> an overall view for all the tracks. Another thing important on, the, on this screen is actually to um, <clears throat> this arrow pointing up. If you click on it, it expands the view of the mixer. And uh, this is actually <laughs> looking at um, almost like to a console, really, for your mixer. So you have the main parameter underneath and then up here you have your plugins and sends. Uh, uh, settings which uh, can be uh, again very handy and same configuration for all the tracks up here and also for the master track there and of course to go back to the uh, to the previous view you click on the down arrow <clears throat> okay let's minimize the mixer now and let's go to the um, timeline view and now let's go through uh, the different type of selection and action you can do on each of the region so the first one, clicking on here, which is selected, is the select one, which is the one by default. So here you can select individual region, and also you can set the position on the timeline. Um, you can click and hold, or touch and um, hold and move if you're not using a mouse. And you can draw, of course, so you can move up and down um, <clears throat> if applicable um, in your region inside the timeline view. <clears throat> And the next one, uh, actually, of course, you can also do loop selection like like that. Uh, the selection is visible because the bo the border uh, around the region changes. It is a lightish, so you should be able to see that on the screen. Next, if you click again on the different selection here, let's click on multi. <clears throat> what the multi does allows you to select the multiple region that one plus that one plus that one and then you can you can apply the settings so for example you can go back here and you can say delete them all like in this case uh, click on undo to go back or if you stick to that you can say cut and it will cut them for them further pasting undo or you can say copy and in that case, then you put uh, the position on the cursor where you want, you click on paste, and then where you click on the mouse, it will actually copy the section, sorry, paste the, the section that all the regions that you copied previously. So let's click on do, and um, sorry, uh, do again. Okay, then the next um, um, interesting selection that you find here. So let's, so let's select a particular uh, region on the screen so the banger drums here let's position the cursor there let's click uh, on uh, the different selection let's select um, duplicates it will duplicate it and duplicate the region let's click undo let's select now split and let's um, select where to split these regions so for example there and what happens is um, if you go back to the selection I split it now that region in two. Very handy. Um, let's click undo again and undo again to go back to the default. Next, what I'd like to show you is the breakup. Um, 
to save this you really need to have one region and then if you click on the arrow you can extend the playability of that region multiple times and as you can see it is repeated multiple times so with that selected if you select to break this will become individual region which then you can use for uh, other uh, purposes and this can come um, very handy for uh, further um, manipulation <clears throat> i stopped here uh, for this part and uh, see you at the next part uh, of the uh, zambit tutorial bye